Welcome to South Park City, a 19th century mining boomtown in 21st century Colorado. In today's video, we're going to share a behind the scenes look at the second part of the process of moving South Park City's newest old building to its new home. How do you move an entire building weighing in at 210,000 pounds? Where did it come from? What's it going to be used for? If you haven't already, check out the first video about this move to find the answers to those questions. The link is in the description below. On December 2nd, 2021, after over a year of delays and setbacks, we moved this building to South Park City. At the end of that day, it was maneuvered onto the museum grounds, where it sat for six months. Then on June 2nd, 2022, the second part of the move began. The building, nicknamed the Rock Building, had been left parallel to the site it needed to be moved to. The first step in the move was to turn the whole structure 90 degrees so that it could be placed on the excavated site. Easier said than done. With lots of equipment, supplies, people, and an entire museum to navigate around, it took some doing. It was a slow, careful process. The site had to be altered to allow the building to be carefully slid into place. A sort of ramp was made by scooping earth out of the way. Then the building was slowly moved into place. Then the equipment had to be retrieved from underneath the building, but all that weight had to be supported by something while the trailer was removed. Special blocks of wood called cribbing were stacked at specific points under the building to support the weight, and the equipment was extracted. The rock building itself was being supported by two sets of heavy-duty I-beams. These beams were there to support the massive weight of the building during the move but were not intended to remain under the building permanently. But how to get those beams out from under the building? Very carefully. With the use of nine 20-ton jacks and the cribbing, the entire weight of the building was slowly taken off the I-beams. They were removed, one by one. Then the building was painstakingly lowered to rest at last. The building was moved with a partial foundation attached to the structure, but that needed reinforcement. So, forms were built, and more concrete was poured creating a sturdy foundation. The last step in the building move was to backfill earth in around the building. This will very likely be the last old building to be moved to South Park City. There is simply no more space for any other buildings to be moved in. What's next for the old building? Cosmetic repairs and alterations will be made so that the rock building can be transformed into the South Park City Jail. But that's a story for a different video. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please support South Park City by giving us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.